Stop. Wait a minute. Let me put some boom in it. Hey, man, don't do. <laughs> hey, shout out, man. Shout out to our sponsor, Coldest Water. Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's show, show them what you got. Show them the goodness. You see that? You that, All right, that, guys. that peach mango over there? Let's see. Hand up the box. Whoa, bro. Look at that. This is so cool. We love, you know, if we're not short, we are no short of coldest water. We love coldest water, keeping our water cold. If I want some cold, cold water, I use my coldest water. Every time I try to put it in my little plastic jug, it never works. I always have to put it in this if I want it ice cold. You That's hear me? Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, and also, man, if you put in code CS in the referral link below, it will give you 10% off your order, man. Who don't like a discount? I love I forgot a discount. that it's engraved, guys. Oh, engraved oh yeah. Yes. Show, what is it showing the back? What is it? Like? and Snuffle. Shout out. Love Sorry it. for the light. The light throwing up with it. This is and... a peach color, too, by the you way. You can get them. You can get yours engraved and say whatever your name is. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Thanks, Coldest Water. I love it. Appreciate y'all. Damn. Yeah. 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 We are back. back. Back with another video in your city. Yo, you already know what it is, man. You hey. Right now? Cause I'm right here. I'm looking at you. I'm in your city right now. I'm you know in your city saying? right now. Yeah. So look. Everybody has seen the whole thing with Candace and Kanye in Paris at, at Kanye's show in Paris, where they both had on the White Lives Matter shirt, um, shirts, which was for his runway um, event that he was hosting, where they would have All Lives Matter and they had White Lives Matter. So it started all this kind of controversy about um, Kanye and all, you know, some people saying that, you know, he is off hinge and he ain't, you know, he, he, he off hinge and, you know, he just doing that for promotion and marketing and, you know, but I, you know, Hey, listen, all lives matter, bro. Uh, we said this back, even when stuff was going down with the George Floyd and stuff like that, man, we were emotional in them times too, but, and, um, but it's, but when you start really doing your education, man, you just really realize you can't really point and just say well this particular matters everybody on this planet matters god if you came out and you're alive on this earth you matter you matter bottom line yeah and at first you know i was you know down with the black lives matter you know movement and you know of course we support Equality. We don't support anything that deals with, you know, the bashing of any racial group, especially the one that, you know, we were born into of being a, a black person, you know. Mm -hmm. However, you know, continuously getting deeper into the word and, and knowing what God stands for. God is, is not about the race. He doesn't see race. He sees human race. Mm -hmm. And I do understand, though, on the flip side of how people were thinking because of the media, how it's portraying the police brutality and how it's been you know, that way for an expensive amount of, you know, the, expensive amount of that time. That little tiny bit. Yes, but they don't give you all the facts. And we, as viewers, don't always do our research. Don't we? Most time, you mean, you, most time, never. More likely. So, you know, I must, you know, be honest. But now, you know, just the strength of myself and, and God's purpose for my life. BG. It's clear that he supports humans. He, not, he ain't going to be tripping on the color you are when he is when judgment day comes that's gonna be the furthest thing from his mind that's right period so, so that saying to say let's dive right on all in. lives matter and you know i ain't tripping on the shirts because white lives matter too we got we got white lives matter episode 17 with candace owens i'm assuming she's talking about the whole scenario um this might be a two-piece three-piece part but man, we wanted to do this one for sure since this is just hot off the press and going on. So let's get it. All right, usually I begin every episode with a question of the day, but it seems that the questions are coming to me. The big one being, why did Candace Owens and Kanye West wear White Lives Matter t-shirts last night at his Yeezy season nine show here in Paris? I'm still in Paris. Here is the shirt, by the way, if you're listening, you can probably find it anywhere online. It seems we broke the internet, but if you're really? watching, here <laughs> it is, the notorious White Lives Matter shirt, which has inspired a meltdown, a breakdown for some people. I think my question is, why? 
why did this t-shirt or our t-shirts inspire such a meltdown for so many people? I'm going to talk to you about the breakfast that I just had with Ye and some further remarks that he made on his Instagram. All that and more today on Candace Owens. All right. All right, guys, before we continue, I want to take a quick second to talk to you about Birch Gold. In this unpredictable economy, it's extremely important to protect your savings from big government and big banks. You can do that by diversifying into gold with Birch Gold. Investing in gold is is an excellent way to hedge against inflation, and Birch Gold Group helps you hold gold and silver in a tax-sheltered retirement account. Birch Gold Group has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, countless five-star reviews, and thousands of satisfied customers. Text Candace to 989898 and Birch Gold Group will send you a free info kit on diversifying into gold tax-free. Take necessary steps to hedge against inflation today and protect your hard-earned money. Let's Get your go. free info kit by texting Candace to 989898 now. All right, guys, it is true. The internet is broken. You cannot use the internet today. It's not working anywhere in the world because I wore a t-shirt alongside Ye West, Kanye wow. West, which read White Lives Matter. And God forbid, God forbid you wear a t-shirt that says White Lives Matter. We wore this for his Yeezy season nine fashion show here in Paris. And people are upset. They're very upset about that. They're going, why on earth? How could you? How dare you wear this shirt? How dare you make a mockery of the BLM movement? In addition to this, in case you missed it on Kanye West's Instagram page, he wrote this. Everyone knows that Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome. That is the (laughs) only response or the only thing that he has said publicly about wearing the T-shirt and And it's so sad to me that you learn about the crooks who are representing this organization. It just looks so horrible to me. Now it looks I'm like just like it's, come on, people. Why? We have to stop making um, things off emotions. I you just don't saying? understand it. How unfair! How unfair! You obviously know if you're watching this where I stand on the Black Lives Matter movement. In fact, I'm doing an entire documentary to expose the fraudulent nature of that movement and the organization that stood behind it and benefited billions and billions of dollars wow. uh, because they elicited elicited black grief. Uh, they sold black people a concept of their oppression. They used poorer black Americans as a marketing firm for their organization. And where did that money go? Well, certainly not to Black America. So I had this wonderful thing this morning, this wonderful experience, and I'll tell you why it was wonderful. I had breakfast with Ye um, at his hotel, and it was wonderful because it was one of those moments where I realized how far I've come from where I was. The first time that I ever came to Paris, ironically, I was having breakfast with a woman whose family I worked for, and she was so awful to me. And I'll never forget this moment because it almost ruined Paris for me. Uh-oh. It was a, a wealthy woman who told me as we sat in her hotel, which was the George Sank Hotel, she said, Candace, a girl like you shouldn't even be here. Look how expensive the omelet is that you're eating. Do you see how expensive it is? An omelet is $35. A girl like you can't afford this hotel. Whew. Let me just keep going. Well, or you can't you can't afford to stay here. And I remember I was so upset uh, that when I left that breakfast, I was crying because I was so angry that anybody had spoken to me like that. And fast forward, I guess, more than 10 years now. And and wait. Thirty five dollar omelet. So Dang. look but at this omelet. What situation was at that moment. At that look time. at this omelet. <laughs> thirty five dollars. When have you ever had thirty five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> what? Thirty five dollars? You said like just a fifteen hundred dollar. Oh um. my gosh! I'm just what? looking, making sure the curtain was closed. Oh, John, make sure my my mother in law don't come here talking about something. Brian, <laughs> switch the TV for me. <laughs> <laughs> I did it before we came. In. I am sitting at a hotel uh, with having an omelet, by the way, uh, with Ye West, and we are discussing the internet, which we just broke over this T-shirt. 
And I just started jotting down some things that he was saying because he was actually giving an interview uh, to another magazine. And he said, I perform for an audience of one, and that's God. I love I loved that statement, so I wrote it down. He also said, quote, utopia is possible for not who we are being led by. I'm going to say that again. Utopia is possible for not who we are being led by, which, of course, leads me to think about Black Lives Matter again and these people who claim to be leaders and knew that what they were doing was further dividing the masses. I mean, the whole idea here via the Black Lives Matter movement was to make sure that black people saw oppression and saw white supremacy surrounding them and convincing them that if they leaned into this narrative, that somehow their lives would be better. It was a mirage. Actually, that's a a word that Ye used during the breakfast too. It was basically a mirage, right? This idea that somehow all we needed to do was burn down our own neighborhoods. All we needed to do was have our youth wearing a George Floyd t-shirt. All we needed to do was loot targets um, and loot these expensive stores and somehow justice would be delivered. And of course it wasn't. There is a deep irony and a sad irony when you consider that wearing a t-shirt has led such a tremor throughout the world, right? A t-shirt that says white lives matter, which should be implied, right? White lives matter, black lives matter, Asian lives matter. It should be implied. Yet people are angry and they are being vicious online because they can't believe that we have the audacity to detract from the movement, which is a lie, right? Black lives matter. If black lives matter, then some of these things that we have been talking about on this show, things I've been talking about throughout my entire political career would be getting attention, not the t-shirt, right? Not the t-shirt, but these actual statistics that matter. And here are just a few of them. 117,626 black children were killed by surgical abortion in the United States in 2018, right? Those are recent statistics. Just so we are clear, Abortion in America has contributed to the greatest decline in black population since the first black slaves arrived. You will. That's why facts are beast. People often talk about um, lynching. This is like a new thing. They like to they like neoliberalism. They could talk about lynching and they compare everything to lynchings. It's just like being lynched, 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 lynched. Well, for your reference, you should know that 4,467 people in the United States were victims of lynchings from 1883 to 1941. Wow. 3,265 of those people were black. And you keep talking about lynching as this horrific thing that's happened in the past, right? And yet when you say to people today that 20 million black infants were aborted They don't even blink an eye. They don't even bat an eyelash. No, no, less than batting an eyelash. And see, I agree with her. Because as soon as you start bringing that up, oh, well, it's not a real baby. No, and then people get emotional and try to feel and see how they can spin it. No. But you you kill them in the the womb. But then we only focus on on that that two-second camera clip. You know what I'm saying? But then all these kids that don't make it. So... They tell those same black people that they need to be outraged when a Planned Parenthood clinic shuts down. 20 million. When you talk about people that are killed in the millions, when you talk about uh, the Jewish Holocaust, when you talk about the Rwandan Holocaust, people are, oh my gosh, oh my, this is horrible. Of course, because it is horrible. But for whatever reason, since we have convinced ourselves to genocide our own offspring, nobody cares. Nobody cares. They don't bend us. In fact, they tell you that it is your right. So think about that. 20 million black babies. And yet a T-shirt is what got attention last night. Mm-hmm. In 2012, more black babies were killed by abortion in New York City than were born. Wow. Wow. Imagine that your abortion rate being higher than your live birth rate in a city. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And they celebrate it. Do you remember notoriously the governor lit up? the city pink when they talked about expanding abortion rights, expanding the black genocide. 
light up the skyscrapers pink. It is wow. Everybody, let's let's light it up for Moloch. Well, if you, you if you true, you know that you know what I you mean. You gotta get some that. background on that. Yeah, yeah. On a, at, a, at a later time. At a later I guess, time, I will. Yeah. A win, a win for who though is the question. A win for who? Seventy nine percent of planned parenthood abortion facilities are located within walking distance of neighborhoods that have a higher proportion of Latina and black women. But that's not the only thing that's killing black America. Literally, we also know obesity is killing black America.